Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious crock pot enchiladas, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is saute some onions. Um, you can use as much or as little as you would like. I have a little bit of vegetable oil in my hot pan here, and I'm going to saute those onions until they get a little bit of color on them. I'm going to go ahead and drop in my ground beef, break that up, and cook that all the way through. All right, once my ground beef is cooked all the way through, as you can see, it released a lot of fat. So I'm just going to drain that. And then I'm going to add my favorite taco seasoning. You can use whatever brand you prefer, or you can make your own if you have the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and coat that meat in the taco seasoning. And then I'm going to add about three fourths cup of water. And I'm stirring the whole time. I'm making sure that I'm scraping the little bits off the bottom because that is flavor that's gonna be added to our meat mixture, okay? I let that simmer for about a minute or two. And then now it's time for us to assemble our enchilada. And I'm kind of doing it layer, like a lasagna layer style. So at the bottom, I have have my enchilada sauce again you can use whatever you like or you can make your own if you have the time and then I added two tortillas and then I'm adding my meat mixture and then some cheese on the top of that and we're just going to continue to build our layer so again I'm adding my flour tortillas and then I'm adding a little bit of that enchilada sauce spreading that all over just like so and then on top of that will be your meat mixture followed by cheese and another layer of tortillas. So I used a total of 10 tortillas for this recipe and I also used um, one 15 ounce can of enchilada sauce. If you like for your enchiladas to be on the drier side, not as moist, then you should definitely go with a 10 ounce can instead of 15. But for me and my family's preference, the 15 ounce um, worked perfectly for this recipe. Okay, so this is the last layer and I'm using four tortillas um, to cover up the whole thing. And then I'm layering the rest of that enchilada sauce on top, followed by the rest of the meat and the cheese. Okay, and I used a total of two cups of cheese for this recipe and I used a Mexican cheese blend. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on and yes so my crock pot lid does not have a handle anymore she is 15 plus years old we got her as a wedding gift and she is still working she's still ticking okay <laughs> every fall and winter she does what she needs to do so i'm gonna stick beside her okay y'all don't mind that corner piece missing along with the mess on the rim of my crock pot that was courtesy of my husband giving this a taste test while i was gone <laughs> so so this is how our layered enchiladas are looking, you guys. It held up really, really well in the crock pot. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it. I cooked this for three hours. And for me, when it comes to enchiladas, less is more. So I'm just topping mine with some lettuce along with some picante sour cream. And that is all we needed. But you can definitely add some rice on the side, some black beans, a little bit of avocado, a little salsa on the top. Do what you do, okay? Do what you like to this do. This was definitely a hit in our household. Everybody went back for seconds even my picky five-year-old <laughs> everybody loved it you guys it was so delicious super easy y'all and convenient with the use of the crock pot so if you like enchiladas but you don't have time at the end of the day to make them you can definitely use this method and make them in your crock pot you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you did enjoy it make sure you give me a thumbs up and share with a friend if you do try this recipe i hope you thoroughly enjoy it so i love you guys and i will see y'all on the next one until then bye